Hi, I'm Rita. Welcome, welcome back to my booktip channel, Life Worth Reading. And welcome to a new reading vlog and actually the start of a new series here on my channel. You might have already seen other channels doing this idea. This is by no means original, but it's the reading my physical TBR challenge or series where you read and focus on your physical TBR throughout the year. This type of content has been very popular lately. Some people wrap their whole TBR. Some people just pick a number generator and read that book. And I thought, why not do the same? I, comparatively to other channels, I actually don't have a lot of books in my physical TBR. I have less than 20 at the moment, but I never seem to pick the books up. Like the ones that I do own, I never pick them up. And I wanna challenge myself this year to actually do it. And I've actually just posted an intimidating TBR book tag because I have a lot of books in my physical TBR that I'm just scared to pick up. And I feel like I need a challenge like this to force myself to actually read the books that I own just so I can actually just move on from them, either keep them because I like them or unhaul them and make space for new books. So that's exactly what I'm doing in this video, in the series, like everyone else. This first episode, unfortunately, will not have the, like, the surprise element of picking my book because it's already on my February TBR. In that video, I did the number generator and I picked a book off my TBR that had to be read this month. And that book is Sorcery at Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. This is a book that hasn't been on my TBR for very long, but it's a book that I'm a bit intimidated to read. It's a bit of a longer fantasy book. It is almost 500 pages and that's kind of scary. And also a lot of people love it. And whenever a book is really hyped, it makes me a little bit nervous to read it. So yeah, unfortunately this part of the vlog will have like the surprise picking of the book because I've already picked the book. But in next episodes for sure, I'm going to do the whole number generator like I did with this one, just not in this specific video. But yeah, in this vlog, I'll be reading Sorcery of Thorns. I have no idea how long it'll take me. I'm actually in like that awkward phase in between books. Like I finished the book like a week ago and I haven't started a book yet. I don't know why. I just, I'm in that awkward phase where I can't seem to pick up a new book, but this is going to be it. I'm going to force myself to read it because we're coming into the end of the month and I still haven't read it. So it needs to be done. Today is Monday and actually today and tomorrow I don't have any classes because it is carnival. So we have a little holiday here in Portugal, which is really nice, but I have a test on Thursday. So I've been studying for that. Originally, I was actually planning to do like a 24 hour readathon from monday to tuesday because i don't have classes but yeah i have that test on thursday and i really need to study for it like i've been doing and so i couldn't dedicate like a whole day to just reading but i do want to put some time in to read sorcery of thorns today it's already late afternoon it is almost 5 p.m and i'm about to go on a walk just a little bit i'm not really feeling it today so i'm not going to push myself but i know that i'll feel better afterwards if i do go so I am going, I'm taking my book, I'll stop at a bench and I'll read it and I'll tell you my first impressions when I come back because I really don't know how this is going to go. I really don't know what to expect from this book. So yeah, I'm going now and I'll see you in a little bit.
Good morning. I just wanted to update you that I am now 60 pages into Sorcery of Thorns. I have read six chapters and I'm really enjoying this so far. It So far what has happened is that our main character, Elizabeth, she's an apprentice at this great library and she wants to become a warden one day and there's this thing called grimoires, which I had to look up what they were, but apparently they're like books of spells, so like books of magic. And this library keeps all of those books and they are alive, which kind of really creeped me out actually. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so creepy, but just like imagining books talking and moving and having eyes just really creeped me out. But yeah, and one day this very dangerous book, The Book of Eyes, shows up, which is one of the, like, the most dangerous books because it has a lot of spells in it and it's unique, it's one of a kind. And so Elizabeth and the director who is who picked her up because she's an orphan, they try to put this book to rest so it can be locked away. And then I didn't quite understand how long it has been. I feel like a couple of weeks or a couple of months later, Elizabeth wakes up in the middle of the night and someone has compromised that book and it has turned alive and it has turned into a demonic thing and it tried to escape the library. And so she goes after it and she ends up killing it, which is very bad because she's destroying a one of a kind book. And then she's like um, accused of treason and she is taken away to the magistrate um, and also, oh, I forgot to mention, in this book all sorcerers are evil so she thinks that all magic is evil and so she's taken to the magistrate and she is being accused of treason and she's going to be like tortured for information not really tortured, I don't think this is a YA book, but you know what I mean so, so far I'm really enjoying it um, I'm not like in love with it yet or anything but I don't know, I'm liking it and I do want to continue on with breeding it. I'm excited to see where it goes because a lot of people say that it has a strong start but like a weak kind of finish. So I'm excited to see where this goes and to see if I end up liking it or not. But yeah, so far I'm enjoying it and I want to continue reading. And it's been, it's made me feel really good because I haven't read in like a week. So the fact that I keep keeping, that I keep picking this book up is really great. So I'm happy about that. Hi, good morning. I'm still in my pajamas. Don't mind me. I'm just here to update you on Sorcery of Thorns. I am now on page 207 and I am struggling a little bit. The more I read, the more I realize that this is not giving what everyone said it would give. Unfortunately, I feel like the plot was supposed to be like about the libraries and about the grim grimoires and each moment we are like getting further and further away from that plot wise and for 200 pages a lot has happened but i feel like the action is a little bit boring or a little bit predictable and i'm just not enjoying it like i was in the beginning because guess what we're not at the library anymore like the first 60 pages or maybe 80 if i remember correctly we were at the library and that was where the events were happening because that was the whole premise of the book and now we're no longer in the library and we spent like a hundred and something pages without any mention of books and now she's like our main character elizabeth she's reading again but it's like it's just it's not it's not what i thought it would be and honestly it's also annoying me a little bit that the romance is not enemies to lovers which let me explain i didn't necessarily want it it to be an enemies to lovers is just that in the back of the book it says that it is with no one to turn to but her sworn enemy the sorcerer the sorcerer nathaniel thorn like sworn enemy where they are not enemies at all literally they're not enemies and that's that kind of pisses me off when books do that when books are like this will be the enemy to lovers fantasy of your dreams and then they're like really nice to each other the whole time and they're we're never enemies i don't know that just kind of pisses me off and yeah i'm just not really liking it i'm not really understanding what the hype is and it's scaring me because i've been looking at the reviews and like all of my friends and people that i follow in goodreads and actually a lot of people have given it like 
lower ratings, like a three. And they say that the ending is quite weaker. So they say like strong start, disappointing ending. Like everyone says that like the later half is already, it's very weak. And I'm like, I am halfway through and I'm already finding it kind of weak, which means that I don't have a lot of hopes for the end of the book. It's just that I don't really know what, what to think of this because supposedly this is about, this is a conspiracy of this attack on the library that happened at the beginning. A grimoire, a very dangerous grimoire was set free and attacked Elizabeth, killed the director and she had to destroy it, right? And she's accused of treason and she's moved away to the magistrate where she's going to be... Um, where she's going to be judged and there's going to be like her I can't remember the name right now but you, you know what I mean she's accused of treason and she's going to the trial exactly that's what I mean the trial but then that's not what happens that's not what happens like a little bit over a hundred pages or maybe even a little less that whole plot line is resolved which like you know, like that whole plot is resolved and it gives way to other things that I'm just not as interested in. I'm really not. So, mm, like the whole mystery was like who attacked the library, but we find that out. And like that whole thing is kind of resolved. And now it's more about like the revenge part, but it's just, I'm just not really interested and I just don't know how these last 200 and something pages are gonna go because I'm kind of bored. I'm not gonna lie. And it's just, it's very mid. Like it's not a fantasy world that I'm very interested in or very amazed by. The plot itself is kind of predictable, like who the bad people are. The romance is also kind of predictable. Especially like oh my god this part annoyed me so much. I have I have to I have to tell you. I have to tell you. I guess this is kind of like a spoiler, so skip to whatever I say. But basically Nathaniel, the sorcerer, has a servant, right? Okay. And so now you can skip to wherever I say here. But basically they are talking and the sorceress says, since when do you care about the welfare of a human being to the servant? And the servant says, I am not the one who cares. And Nathaniel replies, what is that supposed to mean? And then <laughs> the servant says, you care about her master more than I have ever seen you care about anything in years. Don't attempt to deny it. And I was just like, really? We're going to do that thing of like the servant is the one that notices that the brooding sorcerer has the feelings for the girl i just i'm finding it very predictable at the moment and i'm just sad because i was really enjoying it in the beginning i love library i love conspiracies i love all of that and it's just it's kind of losing steam at the moment it's just not keeping my interest and i'm not gonna lie there's so much left for me to read and i'm just scared that i'm not really going to enjoy it but yeah, that's my little little not so little update for now and we'll we'll keep going and we'll see where this goes because i honestly have no idea because the whole synopsis has been resolved so i truly have no idea where this is going okay let's chat shall we i have gotten to almost page 300 i really wanted to read it till page 300 but honestly i'm so tired today i didn't sleep at all last night basically and i'm feeling so tired that i honestly can't read any further but yeah i'm only i'm i can't i can't speak i'm almost in page 300 which means i have less than 200 pages to go i have probably like 170 pages to go and it has gotten more interesting but it's just it feels like is it stupid to say that there's too much action but like there's too many things happening it's just, it's not, I don't know, I'm just not connecting with it in the way that I wanted to connect with it. It's just not doing a lot for me. 
the plot itself it just i don't know i'm not really like loving it and it has too many little things that i'm just like not really a fan of and i i feel like sometimes in this case it's just a case of whether you connect with the story and what's happening or you don't because it is a very typical why fantasy i would say in terms of the elements the narr narrative style the plot ideas and the themes and the events and sometimes they work in certain books and sometimes they don't and i feel like in this particular case it's just not working for me there's no real reason why i'm just not really connecting with it in the way that i wanted to but yeah i'm excited to see what happens i guess <laughs> i'm not really that excited but yeah, it's just I can't read anymore today, um, but it's just a little bit underwhelming, honestly, just a little bit. But I'm hoping that it gets better, even though that every single review has just said that it won't get better. But yeah, there was like this reveal that just happened very casually, and I, I didn't like it. It was very underwhelming because you're wondering something about our main character the whole time, and then it's just like, oh, maybe it's this, and it's just, it's so lame like the reasoning behind it and not a fan but yeah i'm going to bed now i have a test tomorrow actually so that's why i didn't read anymore today as well i had to study and hopefully i'll read more tomorrow after my tests after everything is done i might go thrifting tomorrow with my boyfriend which will be very exciting so i probably won't do a morning clip because i'm leaving quite early tomorrow and it's just not my style so if i don't see you it's because yeah morning waking up early classes tests and then maybe i'll go thrifting and then coming back home and hopefully finishing the book maybe we'll see we'll see what happens but it it, it has gotten a little bit more exciting i will say that but it's just it's still not everything that i wanted out of it yeah that's that's what i'll say okay i will see you tomorrow Okay, so I haven't seen you in a little bit. Let me explain why. Last weekend, I actually went on a little weekend getaway with my boyfriend because it was our three-year anniversary, which was really nice. I had the most amazing time. And because of that, I didn't get to read much because I was just, I was just having a good time. And then when I came back on Sunday, it was just... Things were not going as I wanted them to in terms of this book. So let's talk about what's been happening. I am so ridiculously bored reading this book. I have no words for how boring this turned out. I am currently on page 340. And you would think that at the point that we are in the plot, it is kind of resolved, right? So the main things have happened consequences have been laid out fights have 
happened and somehow I still have a hundred pages left. Of what? What could possibly happen after all of it is resolved that could justify a hundred more pages for me to read? So anyway, what I was saying is that I'm definitely going to DNF this book. I can't take it any longer. This just did not give what everyone said it would give. And it was just boring. I, I liked our main character, Elizabeth. The part about the library was super interesting. The conspiracy behind it was also interesting. I loved every single moment that she was in a library or surrounded by books or whenever we had that mystery going on. But every other aspect... Nathaniel, their relationship, I'm not really rooting for it and then also the demon, the servant, his character didn't do a whole lot for me and I just felt like it was just very generic, it just it didn't have a lot going for it in terms of differentiating itself from other fantasy novels that I've read, quite honestly and it's just I can't even phantom reading a hundred more pages of this now that we know who was responsible revenge has been set fights have been dealt with like i simply this might even have a plot twist or something because i can i can't believe that i still have 100 pages left and everything is just kind of resolved the stakes feel so low and i just can't see myself finishing this book which is a shame because you know first episode of the series did not go very well but you know, it is what it is. We tried our best. Like, I bought this book secondhand because I really thought that I would enjoy it. Or at least I wanted to try it. And I'm glad that I tried it. But yes, I will definitely be unhauling this one because it did not do a whole lot for me. It didn't. And I'm excited to read other books because I feel like... I might try her other fantasy novel, Vespertine or Vespertine or whatever it is. Because I know that she writes like shorter more romance heavy fantasy and i might try that because the, her attempt at this like really big and complex fantasy just did not work for me and i do not care enough to read it i really don't and also just to finish this out because i told you that i was going to go thrifting and i did and i actually bought this jacket which you know it's just it's so basic it's just like this cream colored jacket but the material is so nice like it's so comfortable and it's so fluffy to hold on to and i'm really happy about that and the stores that i usually go to for thrifting they have had this amazing sales recently and even though i'm really trying to save money they just have such great deals and you can find such good things on there and i am so excited about this jacket that i bought i also got a pepsi like vintage t-shirt but that's really not <laughs> that big of a deal it's just a cute little t-shirt that i got and yeah i mean this was kind of this didn't go like i wanted it to and i really didn't think that i would dnf this book but i was just forcing myself to read this today and i just realized i simply do not care and there are so many other books that i'm excited to read why would i be wasting my time reading a book that i'm not even going to give a good rating at the end right ah, okay Anyway, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'm sorry for it having been so scattered and a bit ridiculous in terms of me taking so long to read it and then just DNFing it at the end. But we know we try. We try our best. And hopefully the next videos in this series will go better. Hopefully. But let me know if you've read Sorcery of Thorns or what you thought of it because I feel like I'm in the minority here. When I say that this book is really boring, but maybe if any of you have read it and thought so as well, let me know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for my bookish content. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a nice day and always remember that life is worth reading.